Hello everyone, back again with me, Dante from Dante's Book Talk with another book review. This time I'm going to talk about the second novel in the Atlepine series by David Baldacci, A Minute to Midnight. This novel basically centers around Atlepine's uh, mission to find out more information about her past, especially regarding her sister Mercy that was kidnapped when she was young and also about her parents. I've actually reviewed the first novel in the series, Long Word to Mercy, uh, on my bookstagram account at that bookish guy. So I'll put the link in the description below so that you can check it out if you haven't already. And now, without further ado, let's get straight into the review. So the story of A Minute to Midnight basically follows our formidable and tenacious FBI agent, Atlee Pine, as she goes back to her old hometown, Andersonville in Georgia. There, she wants to find out more information about the night her sister, Mercy, was kidnapped. She goes back to her old house and also talks to some of her parents' old friends. Unfortunately, things get complicated quickly when the information that she gathers just contradict all of the things that she has come to believe for years. The situation gets worse when suddenly there is a serial killer that terrorizes the town. So the first interesting thing about this novel is the fact that it has two mysteries. One mystery about Atlee Pine's past and one mystery concerning the serial killer. Although both of these cases seem to be unrelated at first, they are actually similar because both of these cases have a family theme to them. But more than that, these two cases are actually connected. But how are they connected? Well, you have to read the novel to find out because if I say it, it will be a major spoiler. And these two mysteries are also great because the mystery concerning the serial killer keeps the story intense because Atlee Pine is essentially in a race against time, right? Because, you know, she has to find the serial killer as soon as possible if she doesn't want to see more dead bodies. The mysteries about Atlee Pine's past keep the story intriguing because apparently how the kidnapping incident uh, happened is different from how she remembers it. Moreover, apparently Atlee Pine's parents also have mysteries of their own. In addition to that, some of her parents or friends are also telling her lies and hiding things from her for some unknown reasons. And these mysteries just truly make this novel a great page turner. And they're also definitely better than the ones in the previous novel as well. I also love the direction that the series takes because uh, it makes Atlee Pine's background uh, more complex and interesting to follow. And I can't wait to find out more about it in the third novel of Daylight. Aside from the mysteries, I also love the partnership between Atlee Pine and her assistant, uh, Carol Bloom, who is much older than her and also kind of like a mother figure to her. So there are these heartwarming mother and daughter relations between both of them. So yeah, those are some of the positive things about the novel. And before we move on to the negative things, don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I upload a new video. And don't forget to share and like this video as well if you enjoyed. Thank you. So in this novel, David Baldacci addresses several issues and delivers several messages regarding LGBTQ, porn industry, drugs, uh, technology, and women emancipation in the world of men, aka FBI. I don't have any problem uh, if David Baldacci wants to address several issues that he deems important, but I do have a little problem with the way he convey some of these things. There's just almost no subtlety whatsoever. Almost everything is thought straight into your face. At one point, I felt like David Baldacci uh, was just you know, sitting next to me and telling me what I had to think. And at one point, it felt kind of annoying. Again, I don't necessarily have a problem with authors giving their opinions, but try to be subtle about it. And even if you don't want to be subtle about it, try to find a novel way to deliver it so it doesn't sound like another platitude that we've heard countless of times before. Okay, so the next negative thing that I want to talk about doesn't necessarily affect this novel, but it does affect the first novel in the series, Long Road to Mercy. But unfortunately, this negative thing will be a major spoiler for this novel and the previous one. So if you want to skip this part and just jump straight into the conclusion, it's perfectly fine. But if you want to stay here and find out, hey, what a savage. So in the first novel, we are introduced to Daniel James Thor, a serial killer whom Atlee Pine believes to be the one who kidnapped her sister, Mercy. And early on in this novel, she actually gets to meet him again for the third time. But by the end of the novel, it seems that Daniel James Thor is not the kidnapper. It's not clearly stated, but it seems to be the case. While this is not a problem for this novel, it's definitely a problem for the previous novel because the confrontation between Daniel and Atlee was the only interesting thing, or you could say the most interesting thing about the previous novel. 
If this turns out to be true, you know, that we will not have uh, more of this confrontation between Atlee Pine and Daniel James Thor, then I think it's safe to say that you can actually skip the first novel and jump straight into this one. Because the rest of the first novel just felt like a filler to me and uh, if you have to pay 100k for a filler, it just doesn't, you know, feel worth it. So if this is truly the case, then I think I will lower the score of the previous novel from 3.75 to just 3. And so yeah, that's the end of the spoiler and also the end of this review. Overall, uh, I had a good time reading this one and A Minute to Midnight by David Baldacci gets 4 out of 5 from me. But before we end this video, I wanted to ask you guys something. Have any of you read any novels by David Baldacci? If so, what do you think about his novels in general? But if you're one of those people who hasn't read any of the novels by David Baldacci but you're interested to know, let me know in the comment section below. Maybe I can give you some recommendations. And yeah, that's all that I have for this video. And as always, don't forget to subscribe, turn the notification bells on, like, and share this video as well. And with that, my name is Dante from Dante's Book Talk. Thank you for watching and staying. I'll definitely see you in the next video.